Hi everyone, let's begin dependent paired sample t test. And today, what we are doing manually, we are going to calculate this particular value. So we have taken into consideration one very important uh, question. This is a corporate training institution claim that its training program can greatly enhance the efficiency of call center employees. A big call center sent some of its employees for the training program. So they just want to check whether this training program is effective or not effective. So how we are going to calculate because paired sample t-test we are going to apply. Why? Because respondents are same. Right, target is same before and after. So we would like to check this particular question as well as we have to check confidence interval range also. And uh, what is the margin of error? We would also try to explore this question also. So here is what is the data? You can see here total data is 20 employees data. Those they have sent that particular corporate uh, training institution. They have sent these employees for the training program. Before the training program, you can see this was the output of the employees or efficiency we can call it. And after the training program, this is the efficiency. So we would just want to check uh, whether this training program that is effective or not. So after that, if it, it is effective, so definitely we can decide, we can take this decision. We have to send another lot of the employees for the training program. So what is my hypothesis? You can see here. Average output of the employee is same before and after going through the training program, right? And average output of the employee is not same before and after going through the training program. When I have run this particular hypothesis in the SPSS program, so these are my results. So I just want to compare manually whether I am reaching to the same results or not. So pair one before the training program, after the training program, right? Let me training program. Uh, you can see mean value and total number of 2020 employees, right? And standard deviation, standard mean error. This is the significance level, correlation value and final T value. So same T value, whether we have to achieve through our manually calculated problem. So in this case, through species, what happened? Interpretation is two-tailed p-value is 0.027, which is less than the conventional 5% level of the significance. So therefore, we can reject the null hypothesis, 5% significance level, which means that the average output of the employees has indeed changed after the attending the training program. In this case, through SPSS, my null hypothesis is rejected and alternate hypothesis accepted. So let me check, let me start this particular question problem we would like to solve manually. So let me start. I have feeded this data in, in Excel sheet but I am not applying any Excel tool here, data analysis tool. Manually, I will do it each and every step of this fair T test. So this is the 20 employees data. You can see here before and after. Difference we have to check. Difference, what we have to do? I had put it this formula B3 minus C3. So what I have to do, how I have to apply this formula, right? Simply, I will select equal sign and uh, after this equal sign let me select this b3 and minus this and i would press enter and i will scroll down this formula till the last point so here is which formula i'm going to apply you can see here, let me a little bit bigger, right. So which formula I'm going to apply here? Simply I'm deleting this equal sign and here is average because I want to check average. Average means mean value I want to check. So what I will do, I will select this entire row, entire column and after that close the parenthesis and enter. So this is my mean value minus 3.45 I had calculated. So mean value means X bar value. 
we are simply denoting through x bar. What is the t? This one is the pair t test formula. This is my pair t test formula. T xd. Xd stands for xd stands for that is difference, right? That difference mean minus mu zero divided by sd. SD again, standard deviation of difference. Difference. This is my difference, XD. You can see here. And difference of the standard, devi standard deviation of this difference and divided by under root N. N you can understand because 20 sample size I have taken. So that would be your N. So now what we have to do, simply I had calculated for applying this pair T test, x bar d I had calculated that is minus 3.45. I mu 0 is equal to 0, right? Because uh, null hypothesis said that would be equal to 0 because there is no difference before and after. That is why it is 0. SD we have to calculate first and is already given. So now I would like to reach on 6.45. This is value how I have to reach this. So what is the standard deviation? This is the x bar, right? Here is D also I should write. So there should not be any confusion. XD bar, XD bar minus 3.45. You have seen how I have to reach on this value. Standard deviation. This is the standard deviation value 6.45. This is the formula of standard deviation. What we have to calculate. Here is N minus 1 means. Here is N 20 minus 1 means 19 degree of freedom. Right. This is the N minus 1. Alpha value 0 0.05, we have to calculate summation x minus x bar whole square. So what I will do, you can see here, x bar values here, what formula I have to apply? xd minus x bar. And I did it same. I had applied, here is, I am just writing here, equal sign and select this minus select this enter so minus 64.45 and drag it till the last value here is this is my last entry so now what formula we have to how we have to reach on 6.45205 because this is i am going to apply here equal sign and after this equal sign standard deviation std here as you can see there are the Two choices, STDV, standard deviation dot P. P stands for population. STD, standard deviation of sample size. So I'm going to select standard deviation, sample size. And I had to select this. After this, I'm going to select entire value of still 20th sample and close the parenthesis and enter. What happened? I think... There is, let me check what happened. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What happened? Because that is the, we require x minus x bar whole square. So first of all, we have to apply this whole square value. What we have to do? X square value, how we have to calculate it? Simply what I will do, equal sign, select this and multiply it sign and please select again select this please enter and again please drag this value till the end till the 20th sum right and after that what you have to do you have to get the summation of this you will get the summation of this so that is the what value what formula i had applied equal to sum equal to sum and after this, you will select all the values here till here, right? Close the parenthesis and please enter. It's the same value, right? After that, we will put all these values here and divide it by n minus 1. n minus 1 means 19 and under root of this. So finally, you will reach all this 6.45 value. Let me cross check this value through direct question also direct direct standard deviation also let me use equal sign std and i would use sample size and i will select all the values through i mean through excel formula also 
close this bracket let me press enter same same answer i could like to show you same answer 6.45 i have received when i have not used manually simply you can see here i had 6.4520 and same standard deviation i have found here standard deviation 6.45 now all the data we have to apply in this formula pair t test i had applied all these values in this formula minus 3.45 minus 0 because mu 0 that would be 0 because before and mu 0 means null hypothesis null hypothesis said there is no difference between either the this is my null hypothesis this is my alternate hypothesis you can see alternate hypothesis and null hypothesis null hypothesis said mu d that should be that would be greater than 0 or it could be equal to 0 so same thing and alternate hypothesis when mu d would be i mean less than 0 and it would be equal to 0 i should correct this that would be here is here is that would be greater than zero right this formula would be here let me correct it copy and paste here is right and uh, that would be greater than zero or equal to zero and this hypothesis there would be let me insert uh, one of my symbol here Mm, that would be less than zero right so i'm sure now it's clear so in this case why i have taken mu value is zero you understand minus 3.45 that is this value and uh, minus zero right and 6.45 this value standard deviation divided by under root 20 because n is 20 my value of n you can see 20 sample size so that is why I have taken and now I have to reach this is my final answer. My T value calculated value is minus 2.39. Minus 2.39. Right. And through this we have to calculate through degree of freedom we have to find out whether null hypothesis is accepted or rejected. So I am sure T table I think I had put it here. Let me check this the same answer i have got through my spss through my spss right and let me check through my there is a uh, one table value i would have in my in my this uh, yeah you can see here right here is i had put a t table here in this my let me check because this value is less than yeah this is my no this normal distribution and uh, t table can we check this is my question and this is my t table so you can see here is you can see this is my uh, degree of freedom and on that side you can see what two tail and one tail two two sided so here is you can see and one side here is you can see at the 95 percent that is my degree of freedom 20 and what is the value at the 95 percent you can see 1.725 so my calculated value i could say my calculated value that is that is much much lesser than table value because minus no that is much much uh, uh, i could say greater than table value so we can say null hypothesis is rejected and alternate hypothesis is accepted now how we have to calculate it calculate our confidence of interval so simply through my confidence interval we can see here simply we will put this formula to calculate confidence interval x bar plus minus t sd divided by n we will put all the values and through which we can calculate all the values when we ha you have to solve i have got the values maximum value is minus 
six point minus six point eight two minus six point eight two and lower value that would be minus zero point zero eight right so these are the values through which these this is my confidence interval right range of the confidence interval you will get it and this minus 0 0.08 that would be margin of error we can call it this is margin of error so i hope this video would be helpful to you and uh, in the next video i would like to share one more simple problem of uh, uh, pair t test uh, and please keep watching thank you